Welcome back to another iDoctor UK video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the screen on the iPhone 13 Pro. To start off this repair, you'll need to remove the two pentalobe screws from the bottom of the phone. Once they're out of the way, keep them safe for reinstallation later. And then because the screen on this one's already damaged, I'm not going to take too much care in removing the screen on this one. Although there is another video in which I show how to remove the screen safely on these newer OLED models. But for the sake of this one, I'm just going to get a razor blade down in the bottom here. Push it down all the way and begin lifting up. Once I've got a gap, I can add some isopropyl alcohol. And then using our trusty guitar pick, insert it a couple of millimeters into the gap that we just created. Work your way along the right hand edge, just a couple of millimeters of the way, just lifting the screen from the chassis. Then once you've worked your way along the right edge, come back down the bottom, and then along this left hand edge. Notice that I've just got the guitar pick a couple of millimeters into that gap. That's because I don't want to damage any of the cables. Now that we've got the majority of the screen removed, I'm going to add some isopropyl alcohol again at the top and then sort of pry it so that it comes away and then we can open up the phone. Now that we've got the phone open, I'm just going to place a heavy object behind it like a mug. To remove the screen now, there are three tri-wing screws holding down this shield where we'll find the battery and the screen connector underneath. Once we've got those three screws out of the way, use tweezers to lift up the shield, a plastic spudger to disconnect the battery and then the same again for the screen connector. Moving further up the device now, there's two tri-wing screws just here and here. Remove those two. And then there's two crosshead screws, one here and one more just hidden away over here. And then one more just hidden away behind this flex cable just here. Use your tweezers again to lift the shield out of the way and then disconnect this flex cable using the plastic spudger. We can now remove our damaged screen and put that to one side. I'm going to take my time now to remove the leftover of the dust and moisture resistant seal because we're going to replace that next. The easiest way to do this is to pull up with tweezers on quite a shallow angle to the chassis and sort of pull it. It's always quite satisfying when you can get these off without having to sort of scrape it and really try too hard to get it away because sometimes it can be quite awkward. If you break a piece, just start again with the tweezers and then begin pulling it off nice and steady until all the adhesive is removed from the edge of the device. Now that we've got all that adhesive removed, I'm just gonna take some isopropyl alcohol add a small bead of it along the edge of the chassis and then using a cleaning brush remove any leftover dust dirt and grime if you like repair content just like this don't forget to hit that subscribe button and if you're having a go at this repair yourself let me know how you get on with it in the comments below that's the chassis just about prepared for our new screen the final step in prepping the phone is to install a new dust and moisture resistant seal and i always find it's easiest to align this top left corner first line it up along this left hand edge here and then the rest of it should line up quite nicely. Use your plastic spudger to press down the edges to make sure that it's sat nicely and that just about completes the preparation. Moving on now to our screen, we need to transfer the proximity sensor and ambient light sensor from this screen onto our new one. So remove these three tri-wing screws and then we're going to get it nice and warm with our heat gun to soften the adhesive so that we can get underneath to separate this flex cable. If you don't have a heat gun like mine, a hairdryer or hot air gun will do the same job. This is just a fancy version of those. I'm going to heat it for about a minute so that the adhesive is nice and soft. Then using our plastic guitar pick, I'm going to get underneath that flex cable 
to lift it away from the damaged screen. I'm gonna be really careful here. Add a little bit of isopropyl alcohol to soften it a little bit more. Then using the heat gun again, I'm gonna soften these, this area so that we can lift that, those two sensors and the microphone. Now that that's lifted, it's ready to install on our new screen. The screen that I'm using is a genuine pulled part. We're gonna start off by reversing the steps that we just took, reinstalling the ambient light sensor and proximity sensor. So we just line them up, make sure they sit into their grooves, and then make sure the flex cable sits down properly. Use the tweezers then to reinstall the small shield and then secure down those three pentalobe screws. With that installed, this is now ready to reinstall onto our chassis. And the first thing that I'll do here is remove this first layer of the dust and moisture resistant seal. Bring back the trusty mug to lean the screen on, then offer up the display connector first, reconnect proximity sensor cable, then finally reconnect the battery. This would be a good point to test the display, but for the sake of the video I'll just carry on with the reinstallation. Go ahead and reinstall that shield over the display connector, as well as there's three tri-wing screws that hold it down. Then we've got this funny shape connector up here. Line that up into place, then install the two tri-wing screws in these two bottom ones. The longer of the two crosshead screws goes in the top right corner of the shield, so just here which leaves one small crosshead screw to install just behind this flex cable here. With those re-secured, we're just gonna give it a quick blast out with the dust blower. Wipe any mucky fingerprints off the, the little shields here. And then peel back that final layer of the blue film for the dust and moisture seal. I'm gonna install the top of the display first, make sure that that sort of clicks into place and then begin applying pressure along the right and left edge. And finally, re-secure the bottom into place. Give it a squeeze all the way around and then reinstall our two pentalobe screws in the bottom of the device. That just about completes this repair of this iPhone 13 Pro screen. Thank you for watching and see you next time.